Hello everybody. Today we are going to unbox some Beyblades and we have a very large stadium which is the Decagon Stadium. So let's get started. So here I see we have a left launcher and two right launchers. And so I have grip for I think all of these. Now here is the real part, the Beyblades. So here we have uh, eight Beyblades and now we have four Beyblades. So there's some stickers, but I don't want to put them. So here we have Excalius, Fornius, Hades, Vice Leopard. I forgot the name of this. Jane Fafnir, Phoenix. Uh, guys, Fafnir, Salamander, Valkyrie, I also for uh, Kerbius, and Rock the Boar. So, we have our launchers. So, what we're going to do is first, before playing, we're going to check the base out. So, right now we have Fafnir. So, this, uh, this driver actually, it can stand for, uh, it can stand like, also, Yes, this thing cannot spin still, but guys Fafnir can a little bit because of this driver. Well, anyways, enough about Fafnir. This is, I don't know, then this is Phoenix, which is one of the coolest Beyblades in the world. Because first off, it has a ring, which actually is really cool. In the battle, uh, the ring goes off. And it hits the opponent and the opponent goes out or maybe out of stamina but the second part is it has amazing stamina so even if Phoenix goes out it can still go it can still go on for a minute so that's about Phoenix now we have one of the most favorite Beyblades in the world Cho Z Valkyrie this thing has literal wings of course, because it's Valkyrie. So these wings, sometimes in matches, if Valkyrie gets hit very hard, these wings go on. And then they do some, they do very good damage. But in the hits, they go off again. So that's about Valkyrie. And then we have Roctavore. This thing, let's just say it has a pretty good stamina because it's a stamina type and Carbius. Carbius actually is a defense type but can do lots of attacks because you see these have sharp blades at their side. Also these two swords kind of thing. Also now my favorite Beyblade from all of these are I have two favorites. One is Phoenix, other one is Valkyrie. So let me just put the disc on Phoenix the cool Beyblade. Now, let's get on to the matches. Now, who should you think, who do you think we should do the first match with? Hmm, let's see. Okay, I think we should do it with the top best two, Valkyrie and Phoenix. So, first two, three. Let's see if Phoenix can, oh crap, its ring fell out. Okay. Now let's do it. Oh, nice start from Phoenix. Put the cord in. Time for Valkyrie. Let's see who wins. Looks like Phoenix is holding up pretty bad. And this could be a win for Valkyrie. And it's a win for Valkyrie, one zero. Oh, it's wing so long. We'll learn for Valkyrie first this time. Uh, shoot. Okay, Phoenix. Whoa, good start. Can it win against Valkyrie? It's going in very sharp. And Valkyrie's out of stamina. And it's a win for Phoenix. 1-1. One, one. 
Oh, it's Wavelet again. We'll launch Valkyrie again. And next, Phoenix. Stamina, Phoenix, and Phoenix makes a comeback. Two, one. Now we will launch Phoenix. In my opinion, Phoenix is one of the probably one of the best tribal Beyblades in the world. Okay. Valkyrie. It's attacking Phoenix, but Phoenix could run out. But Phoenix could make it run out of stamina. I wonder why Phoenix's ring doesn't activate. Oh, I saw the replay. Phoenix was just a little bit in. Since it was two one, now it is three one. That means Phoenix is the winner. So I mean. Phoenix did really well because Valkyrie just um, couldn't handle Phoenix's stamina. So that makes Phoenix the best Beyblade in my setup. Now, see, uh, I don't really think that's enough. So these are my Beyblades if you want to see them again. And my launchers. So thank you for watching and bye.